Hello everyone! There's no spoon. <laughs> I have to get used to this. Nice experience. First ever water. <laughs> I made it to my third country in Europe. Welcome to Switzerland, everyone! Hello beautiful people! I made it to my third country in Europe. Welcome to Switzerland everyone! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm here! <laughs> so I actually left Netherlands at 7 in the morning today. I didn't have enough sleep because I had to wake up 3 a.m. drive to the airport and one hour flight going to Zurich. I'm by the way uh, right here in Zurich and yeah this is it we are in the middle of the city it's so beautiful I'm gonna give you guys some fun facts about Switzerland of course um, but for now I'm really hungry and I cannot wait to try Swiss food so we're gonna go grab some very late lunch I think that's gonna be dinner as well not sure I'm actually being hosted by a very uh, kind <laughs> Filipino Swiss yeah okay i'm gonna share the details with him to you guys later on but for now let's grab some food because i'm really starving let's go grazie switzerland <laughs> Hello guys! Our food has arrived. I'm so excited. My first ever Swiss meal. We are in the restaurant called... Okay, I'm gonna be butchering this name now. Zugau... <laughs> Zughaus Keller. <laughs> okay, so people here speak German, French, and Italian. So I can say merci, I can say bon appetit, I can also say um, 
Dunk kitchen. Yes. All right. So this is chicken. What is it called again? Pulik schnetzeltis. Okay. And then we have broshti. So this is a potato. Bon appetit, everyone. Let's eat. Let me try the chicken. It looks really good. I mean, look at the herbs and spices that comes with it. Wow. I like it. Mmm. That's good. I thought it was spicy. Not spicy. Roshti okay. looks like hash brown to me. Let's try. Oh, how do you do it? So in Europe, they're only gonna give you pork and knife. <laughs> There's no spoon. I have to get used to this. Mmm. This is like hash brown. Mmm. We have big servings here, by the way, guys. I should probably be starting ordering kids meal now. <laughs> Look how huge this plate is. Mmm. It's a bit crunchy too. Now I will have to try your the sausage. Yeah. Mmm. I just get just give me a small piece. Yeah. Mmm. Smaller. Mmm. So they have this sausage as well. Sausage is also a thing here in Switzerland. Here it is. Mmm. Mm mmm. Mmm. Real sausage. Tastes good. Oh, I like the sausage. I like this one, yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> it's okay. Try to get the mustard. I don't like mustard. <laughs> So, they're, they're a fan of mustard here, but unfortunately, I'm not a fan of mustard. Mmm. I love the sausage. Mm -hmm. It's better than the chicken. Really? Mm -hmm. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> you want to try the chicken? It's good. Yeah, lovely. Just one piece. Mmm. What a way to start my Switzerland trip <laughs> with good food. Hello, we just finished with my first meal here in Zurich, guys. And do you want to know how much was that meal cost? <laughs> it is... Dun, 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 66 Swiss francs. So here in Switzerland, they don't use Euro, but instead they use Swiss francs. So there you go. I'm gonna have to put the conversion on the screen so you guys will know how expensive this country is. But I'll only be here in the next few days and um, Switzerland is actually on my dream bucket list to travel to so that's why I'm here okay so fun fact anyway when we were having our food earlier the king of Sweden passed by ha I was not vlogging that time I didn't turn on the camera but yeah he was there with bodyguards I actually don't know him but yeah the one next to us <laughs> said that um, he just passed by that was so cool Anyway, right now we're gonna go to a mountain. I think we're gonna get tram and then train and then go to the mountain. Right? Ready to go? Oh, by the way, guys, um, I got a Swiss travel pass. Uh, that is probably the most expensive one that I will be um, paying while I'm here in Zurich. So that actually cost me uh 281 swiss francs i'll have the conversion again but yeah that's very expensive about 17,000 pesos i believe so the swiss travel francs uh, so the swiss travel pass will give me access to trams buses uh cable cars to the three mountains we have train as well and what else i think that's pretty much it yeah so oh boats as well so that's pretty good these are the trams that they have guys we're in the middle of the city and yeah we're gonna get train and tram to the mountain we're going to tonight so it's autumn in uh, Switzerland and I think the Sun sets at 7 p.m. so we still have time to go up in the mountain ah what a way to start my day one in Switzerland it's been productive so far one thing 
that is very interesting here in Switzerland guys is that any water fountain around the city around the country is potable so you can drink it and they have this fountain right here which is very nice they have a big one and a small one and I think this is potable right okay Eric said so <laughs> all right I'm gonna drink it for the very first time you guys ready for this oh it's very cold okay wait oh! <laughs> i'm getting so excited with little things like this okay let's drink bon appetit <laughs> how do you drink that mm, it doesn't taste anything <laughs> it's water mm. oh that's very cold that's actually cold Ah, nice experience. First ever water. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is getting dark now. Time check, it's 6 p.m. here in Zurich and we just arrived here in Utliberg. Utliberg. <laughs> I'm butchering that, I know. But behind me, you can see the train that we actually rode going here. It was very quick, uh, around 20, 25 minutes. And we're actually up in the mountain so we can see the highest point of Zurich. So we can see the city lights, which is what I like. and yeah it will be great actually around here there's this restaurant it's called hills and some people are actually eating the cheese fondue it's one of the uh, dishes here as well that's very famous in switzerland and you can smell it from afar <laughs> the cheese so i want to try that but not today maybe tomorrow we can do that i cannot wait to see the entire city of Zurich. hello guys we are now in the top of zurich i was able to go there in the viewing point which is actually so so beautiful i love city lights this is where you can see the entire city of zurich and it was just 500 meters walk it took us about 15 minutes i was catching my breath obviously okay so now we're at this tower i think we have to pay something to go up and have a very nice view of the entire city it is pretty high let me show you how high it is it's like an eiffel tower of zurich <laughs> okay all right there's more stairs and there's actually a hotel here Ta-da! it's so so nice so beautiful you have a lovely terrace here which is very romantic if you have someone special you can have dinner here with a view there it is love the hotel it's yellow <laughs> it's brick now we have to go up let's go let's try if we can go up <sighs> is it good is it close <laughs> it's good is it ah you have to pay here automatic ah how much is it two two okay tada everything here is automatic guys 
So you have to pay here using my card. Yeah? Okay. Hello! We are now in the tram guys, going back to the main city center. The public transportation here is very efficient. I super love it, especially the tram. We're in the tram right now. And the Swiss Travel Pass, it is a recommended buy for all tourists that's coming here because you can have access to all the public transportation here in Switzerland. So it's very good. At the same time, it is very like strange to me how there's actually no one that will check your travel pass or any like there's no security but it's a random check so uh, you can just get on and like you don't even need to like show anything but sometimes there's gonna be people that will check if you have travel pass or if you have paid for this trip or not so that's really good i mean it's all about honesty here <laughs> um, earlier i was being asked for the travel pass so i just showed it and yeah he just said okay and that's it though it was very pricey but that will give you a lot of convenience in getting you know around um, switzerland so i just had to get it <sighs> cannot I cannot believe still that I'm here to be honest it's so surreal and to be able to go to the top of Zurich and just like look at the panoramic view of the entire city at night it's so magical hello everyone we just arrived here at Eric's apartment he's actually hosting me as well what a nice villa thank you so so much anyway aside from him hosting me he also helped me with my ticket from Zurich no from Amsterdam to Zurich and that's because he is an aircraft engineer so yeah I was has asking him earlier um, about turbulence and all that so he checks the the airplane after it lands right before it goes yeah pretty crazy and interesting he's very kind and yeah so my flight from Amsterdam to Zurich took only one hour and instead of it being maybe $200 and up it was only 81 euro I sorry 81 Swiss francs and that's already including luggage so one thing that I don't like here in Europe is that the fare of the the fare ticket is just actually very affordable like less than a hundred dollars and then once you add luggage that's when it doubles or even triples i don't know why do they do that but <laughs> yeah um, i have been checking flights to other countries that will be going around here in europe and that has always been the case so if you want a backpack i think that's a very good idea so that you can have a really cheap uh flight tickets but yeah i cannot because i have um, a lot of clothes though my luggage is just 15 kilogram i still have some room for some pasalubong to bring back home so yeah anyway i don't know if this is a vlog enough um, for today but i did not expect i will have a vlog because i arrive at 8 a.m today and i didn't have sleep so when i arrived here at his apartment i actually slept until 2 p.m so yeah that's why we 
explored Zurich city at night, which is actually very nice. I mean, I love city lights and it's such a different ambience at night compared to during the day. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, guys. I know you guys have seen that I'm already in um, Europe. Thank you so, so much for the lovely messages. Yes, indeed, dreams do come true. Uh, I've been receiving a lot of messages that you guys wanna meet me and wanna show me around. Thank you guys so much. Um, I do have a lot of subscribers around Europe, so I'm very grateful that they're all hosting me on this trip. You guys will meet them soon all right thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below where should i go around europe i'm still very flexible because i know something could happen so i don't have very solid plan on the countries that i'm going to so feel free to comment below i will see you guys on my next one don't forget to smile and be happy bye